Hey, what's up guys? Six somebody here. We're back with another show. Tell me, isn't Zeki Ball ready for the new season? Let's go. That's how it goes. They keep asking about the best when they know it's me. Okay. Asking about the rest when they know it's me. Straight in, I guess. You know it's me. This past weekend, we got a glimpse of Zeki Ball. Kids keeps taking on younger in Tanzania. It was a friendly. They did lose. Um, didn't care about the result, if I'm being honest. The result is not what I really cared about. But what I saw with my eyes for 90 minutes, that was uninspiring. Hey, you know, people were going on about, but it's new players. You know, it's the first game. We can't be judging them too much as yet. And I get that. But I was looking at more of how does this team play without the ball and how they play with the ball as well. How do they move the ball as well in position? And just what I saw, I just saw glimpses of what was happening last season. And one thing I do not believe is that that was the first game. That's not the first friendly that Kizer Chiefs plays, guys. You know, I don't know why people are so naive to think that was the first game. This team has been playing together. So when I'm looking at that, I just thought, Kante, what has this team been working on this whole time? Like, what has Muli Fenzeki been doing this whole time and I get it it's a way you know younger is the favorites they're obviously going to dominate the ball but I was just looking forward to seeing how is he going to play and it was very similar to what we saw under Arthur Zwane so people ask why are you so harsh why are you so like why are you so strong on them I don't know if you guys know this the season kicks off in nine days in nine days the season kicks off and I'm asking myself is Mulefenseki and his troops ready for the new season? To be fair, we didn't see Ashley Dupree, so he's going to obviously come back. Ranga is also going to definitely come back. And I just feel like with nine days to go, there's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. We're going to see it play out. And I'm going to ease up. There's no denying that. I'll ease up definitely. But I tell you what, if I see what I saw this past weekend in nine days' time, there will be no easing up from me. Another big guest tonight on Playing the Field with Shakes, a treble winner. You know, people make noise about trebles now. This guy did it about almost a decade ago. Orlando Pirates legend, analyst, they call him Terminator, Dick Khan Mabalane. Spoke to him. Listen to when he speaks about the modern day player in the PSL. How are you doing, man? I am... 100% fantastic. I'm super I'm excited to be on the show. I mean, share it. Uh, it's an honor. It's an honor. It's an honor, yeah. Now, nah, man, listen, man, it's an honor for us because we have huge respect for people that played like you. Like, I mean, the football mm. you guys played at the time, the way that you guys were winning, incredible, man. That Pirates team gave me nightmares, I can tell you that. Tell me something. Yeah. In the off season, like, what do analysts get up to? Like, what are you guys doing now? Like, what's happening? I'm sure you must have watched Banyana Banyana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, look, besides football, yeah, and yes, by the way, they did well. Um, uh, Banyana Banyana. I mean, I'm I'm proud of them. I think I think they they fought. Uh, we can still we can still make it. I mean, I'm happy I'm happy with the performance as well. You know, just to uh, mention that, but uh, we, I try not to uh, focus too much on football, you know, um, because sometimes everything we do is football, but yeah. now it's time off and yeah. just to cool off, man, just to get things off, you know, off your mind, uh, do anything that will be therapeutic. Anything that will get you back into football. Uh, off time is, is happening, of course, but a lot is happening outside. Friendlies are happening. Transfers are happening. Your former club, Orlando Pirates, man. You know, like, what have you made of Jose and Orlando Pirates? They're doing well in preseason. Can they challenge mm -hmm. Mamluk Sano next season? I mean, that's the team, right? To challenge Mamluk Sano. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what, Jakes? I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be talking about this. Uh, um, I'm sure a lot of people want to know as well. Well, which is going to give Sundowns uh, a bit of you know a run for their money? Um, I think I think Pirates did well in terms of last season. You know mm -hmm. they did much much better last season. I um compared to previous the seasons before, of course. 
But I think last season, particularly last season, they did well with their performance. So all the obvious, you know, um, winning cups as well. It was a sign that sometimes you need time. You mm-hmm. just need time. Give the coach a bit of time. It takes it takes it takes time, you know, to get a team uh, functioning well the way you want as a coach. Uh, and the patience, of course, from us as well. But I think they can still do better this season. Now off yes. to the rivals. I mean, that's the other side. Naturena, Kaiser Chiefs. I mean, the kind I, I you're an analyst. You watch football. You. You've won trophies over the years. You've been in locker rooms as well, in teams that have won trophies, you know. Chiefs have gone nine years without winning a thing. Guys, like, people don't know this team was winning quite a lot back in the day, but they've gone nine years. What do you think is the reason for that? Yeah, hey, and we talk about a team that has that is known before, before this drought is known for, you know, uh, winning things. I mean, the MTF8 I was looking up uh, on how many times they've won it as well. Uh, top 8, they've been winning it for like, you know, I think they've got a record of over 14, 15, something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that, that, that says a lot about uh, Chiefs. Then you, you're quite right, you know, 100%. Look, uh, they, they've had their difficulties. It's been tough for them. Uh, yeah. Things haven't been coming together when it comes to pleasing the supporters as well. And understandably yeah. so. It's a, it's a big team, you know? It's a big yeah. club. Well, besides the fact that uh, since we won the league, well, the treble, I say we because uh, of the treble, double of course, treble. 100%. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, since those, those days for Kaiser Chiefs, of course. But look, again, every team has a face or rather they have a generation, different generations as well. And I think it's been difficult for this generation of uh, of, of players. It's, it's tough. Players uh, for Chiefs, expectations are high. You know, they always compare these players to, you yeah. know, um, to you. The former players, the... the, the Legends. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's it's it's, it's, yeah, it's tough, man. It's they have to they have to do more. Unfortunately, they have to do better. And it 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 calls character, it calls for passion of the game. You know, sometimes certain players will Chiefs. That's it. They, they they get comfortable. They get uh, okay with things. And I feel it's the attitude as well from players. I don't want to... And the reason why I'm focusing on players, mm. I don't want to talk too much about the technical or the coaches. I, yeah. I believe um, players have to also be accountable. Players have to take responsibility. I mean... That, you know, you know, you, know, you, there, you, know you, you actually... You actually... Sorry, man. I wanted to... Dekhan, Sorry, man. I wanted to say this. You, you're actually mentioning a very good point, and I think it's, it's, it's maybe even with me. I, I've seen it in recent times when you talk about big institutions, Orlando Pirates, Kids Chiefs, Sundowns, you know, Morocco Swallows as well. I yeah. mean, do players in modern day time understand how big that badge is? You know, like I mean, I look at the time you played with. Uh, Benny McCarthy with Dane Clay, with that team that you had, it seemed like you guys understood what it meant playing for Orlando Pirates. And when you're looking at today's time and you're sort of pointing to the players, do the players of modern day time understand the weight that Kaiser Chiefs' badge carries? Because, I mean, you had rivals with them for years and it was so close. Look, um, simply put, it's easy for players, and I know they will say this as well. No, um, you know, we play for the badge. It's a big club. You know, the, the players will say that, but saying it and doing it and believing in it and actually, you know, uh, putting it on the field, it's a different thing. You know, yeah. translating what you say onto the field, it's, it's, it's a different thing. So you need players that will end by, you know, by doing the job on the field. And results obviously speaks for themselves. If you you you, you say one thing and we, we don't see what you're doing, I mean, of course, um, 
the 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 the, the easy thing for, for for the supporters is to say, ah, I want the coach Arahabi. We have to learn. You know, it's easy for 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 friends to say that. It's that uh, no, the coach, the coach, the coach. There's a technical team. There's yeah, guys, um, players, Ibo, that go on to that field play football. They are ones that take instructions mm-hmm. and and uh, implement on the field. You, you mm-hmm. know what I mean. So uh, I always, always, you know, want to talk and emphasize on this. Players need to also take some accountability. You come to a club and you know it's a big club. It's a it's a, it's a big team responsibility. You know, there's pressure there. But um, I don't think I don't think certain players have what it takes. And uh, unfortunately, I'm sorry, I have to say this. Mm. I don't think play, certain players don't certain players don't have what it takes. You know, uh, yeah. it's a it's it's a shame that I have to say this. But results speak for themselves. You know, mm. uh, show us, show us, see what you can do, and come in, perform for like two three games. And they get hyped up, you know. And Chiefs also, uh, talking about Chiefs, I've seen players come to Chiefs and, you know, they get the hype and, and everything. And then four games down the line, they disappear. Mm. Again, it goes back to character. So imagine how many players that come and play for Chiefs and go through that route where, you know, uh, a player comes in and it's like expectations are high and you see nothing is, 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 is we're not getting anything from that. So, mm. um, yeah, man, sometimes you need characters, you need special players for special yeah. teams. But now the big question, I mean, they've been so good for so many years, so many years. And I'm asking, are they going to make it seven times in a row? Vikan, what do you think? Is Sanon's going to make it seven league titles in a row? <laughs> They they can. I mean, uh, it's 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 not it's not impossible, and especially because we know what what they've, they've done in the past few years. I mean, they've been dominant. You saw, you know, um, mm-hmm. they showed signs for for the first time in a while. I've seen, I've, I saw signs of them being a bit inconsistent as well. Their performances, some mm-hmm. some few. Uh, doubtful uh, displays, you know, here and there. But like, again, it's understandable, you know. The fact is they've won. they won the league. You know, that's what matters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> again. So, right. and that, yeah, that's a thing. The reason why I'm saying it's possible is because they're not sitting back. They're not lying, you know, um, uh, and saying, you know, uh, they're not complacent about it. They want yeah, they're to not. They, they, they win us, you know. I think they get that mentality, obviously, from the the president, of course. Uh, you know, Mr. Mutsipe, and I think, yeah. yeah, I think that's that's you. If you have a leader like that that wants to win everything, that puts invests in a club like that, I think mm-hmm. for me, it makes sense. You know, no, you're right, man. They keep raising the bar. They keep performing really well. You know, I I even look at the standard of their football as well. It's like it's just. That's on another level, I tell you. But moving away from those clubs, in terms of transfer wise, a lot of a lot of transfers have happened. Supersport made signings. You know, teams have made their own signings. Uh, Sundowns have made their own signings, as well as Keeper United as well. They got Craig Martin, which is great. What's been your favorite transfer so far? You know, the one that you're excited about this coming season. The, you mean the signing? Yeah, signing. Your favorite transfer so far. Yo, um, I have to say, we mentioned one now, <laughs> uh, Maseko uh, yeah. from Super Sport to Camp Dance. I think I, I'm excited uh, about that one. Simango to Chief of as well. Mm. Uh, he's one of the players. I've, I've followed his game, you know, from the days at Galaxy when we were still, you know, uh, yeah, pretty young, uh, promising player. I think... Oof, let me see. They tried to choose one. Yeah. Uh Mendieta as well. Mendieta as well is still a good signing for Sundowns. Mm. Uh, mm. but for me, I can't wait. 
I can't wait to see uh, Maseko, Maseko, how he does it at, at, at Sundowns. I think we will get the opportunity to see him in a different team, on a different team, different stage. Yeah. Um, exciting player, an exciting player for me. I think uh, I want, I, I'd love to see that. Also, um, the player we spoke about, the South American as well. Yeah, Brazil. Ribeiro um, as well, yeah. Ribeiro. Ribeiro for me, I'm, 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 I'm very excited. I, I, I want to see. I like. I can't wait to see him um, play for Sundance. You know, he's 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 really an exciting player. Yeah, and I, I mean, he's you know he's also he scored in preseason. I do think so as well. Couple of months ago, just a quick one before I go to the last one. Are you not worried about the fact that? Well, do you think he's definitely gonna start for Mumbai Sundowns? You know, he goes from. Super sport playing all the time, then he goes to sundowns, and it's like there's so much quality there. Are you worried that he will start, or you're not even worried about that? You just know that I he's Nandi is gonna start, he's gonna play. You know, you know, Shakes, uh, yeah, there are players, there are players that perform because they are in a certain environment and they excel. You know, it's in, in, in that particular environment. But you take them out of that and they struggle. Capello, uh, uh, Maseko is not that. Mm. Maseko is not that player. You know the reason why I'm saying that? Because he gives you the basics mm. and he is effective, efficient. And most players don't have all of those qualities, you know, mm. Uh in, in 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 you don't get that in in, in one player mm. uh, you know uh, most of the time here in South Africa but with him it gives you all of that mm. you need a player that like I've mentioned you, you know I'm saying this because I feel like he will give Rolani what he wants especially especially more importantly for um uh Kev Champions League yeah that's where now I think th that's why I think they bought him as well, you know. No, man, that's that's big praise, man. That's I, and you know, because of what you said, I'm going to be watching him a lot closely. I was very excited what he did at Super Sport, wishing him all the best at, at Mamluri Sundowns. The final question, Terminator, the team that you think is going to be surprised this season. I mean, Swallows, your former club as well, they just got Anle Jali. I mean, do you think there is a Surprise team that you're looking forward to seeing what they're going to do this season. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Solos, Solos is it's it's interesting that you mentioned Solos here. So I believe, um, yeah, no, they're making bold moves. Eh? Um, bold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're making bold moves. Yeah, no, they're signing as well. Um, they went for. I think I think now things are things are working well for them. Mm. Uh, structurally as well, they've changed. Of course, going back to the original Morocco Swallows. Uh -huh. they, uh, they will, they will, they will get an interesting team to watch because the past few seasons it's been you know here and there. They haven't mm. really uh, proven themselves. I understand that as well in terms of the signing, the sponsorship as well. Mm. That all of that, I think that affected them. That affected them in the market. But mm -hmm. I think now, now they comfortable. Now they 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 actually going aggressively. Uh, you know, when it comes to signing players, acquisitions, and and technical team as well, they've gotten, of course, um, the, the 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 very good coach Steve Compella, experience, mm -hmm. and also student. Tom. So you look at those uh, few things, and you realize that. Look, uh, they mean business. But then, uh, you know, they'll have to obviously compete with others as well. Uh, teams are, we'll see, we'll see. And the newcomers, for your, your Pulukwane cities, you know, Cape Town Spurs yeah. as well. Spurs. But I think Swallows want to make a mark. No, 100%. I definitely will take that, man. And uh, just want to end off by saying thank you so much, man. I once met Terminator at a tournament. I think you were playing football. And I can tell you one thing, man, one of the most humble legends we've ever had in this country. I, every time it's, I see you, man, very nice. And I want to say thank you for this opportunity. And I'm wishing you all the best with your career, man. 
Shege, thank you very much. Um, you know, like um, I'm, I'm happy that we did this uh, eventually. <laughs> so yeah, it's exciting. By the way, you're doing well. Good luck, man. Good, good, good. I, I, I like I like your work, I like your work, Shege. And uh, let's hope this is not the last one. Anything, anything for you, my brother? Now, one hundred percent, man. Look, the season is gonna start. You'll definitely hear from me. Thank you so much for always lending a hand out. I really do appreciate it. But this is not the last one. I can guarantee you that. Thank you, Shaggy. It's time for our weekly bit of the week. The purpose of this segment is to show you my bit slip in hopes that it helps yours light and green. The more accurate, the more cash you get. Let's get into it. The Women's World Cup continues. And that means our bet slip is going to be themed in that way. Here's the games. Spain taking on Zambia. I've gone with over 2.5. Canada taking on Ireland. I've gone with Canada straight win. Portugal against Vietnam. Portugal straight win. Australia taking on Nigeria. I've gone with over 1.5. Argentina against our lovely Banyana Banyana. I've gone with over 1.5. China against Haiti. It's going to be close. So I've gone with either team to win. I've double chanced it. Either one can win. The odds, 4.43. Four times my money back. The maximum I can win is 2,000 Rand. Mm, I look forward to it. If you want to win with me, click on the link below. That is Bet of the Week, sponsored by Betway. Remember to practice responsible betting at betway.co.za. Until the next one, all the best. We've come to the end of the show. Before I leave, Banyana Banyana, hold your heads up high. Don't listen to them haters. You did well. Let's get Argentina and let's get those three points. And for you that's watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified for future episodes.